Welcome dear students. So today we are starting a new chapter, chapter number 23 and the name of the chapter is Graphical Representation, Histograms and Ojais. Okay, so basically this particular chapter is the part of your statistic unit. Okay, and in this particular chapter you have got only one exercise and that is exercise 23. Okay, so without further delay, let's see what are the things that we are going to learn in this particular chapter? Okay, so graphical representation of data. So there are basically three different kinds of graphical representation that you are going to learn in this particular chapter. Okay, so the first one is histogram, which I'm sure that you have learned in your class 8 statistics as well. Okay, now next is frequency polygon and the last one and very important one is ogive or you can call it cumulative frequency curve as well okay so let's see one thing at a time so first is histogram as i told you that you have already learned about histogram let's have a quick revision of what is histogram a histogram is a two dimensional graphical representation of continuous frequency distribution Okay, so you have already learnt about country, continuous frequency distribution in your class 9 statistic as well. Okay, so let's see one example on histogram. So question says, so basically I am taking these questions from your exercise 23. So question number 1, sub number 1 says, draw histograms for the following frequency distribution. Okay, see here we are doing histogram for continuous frequency distribution now continuous frequency distribution means see this is called class interval okay 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 so these are called your class interval okay and in this class interval in one class interval this particular number is known as lower limit and this is called your upper limit okay now if the low upper limit coincides with the lower limit of the next class interval see here 10 is coinciding with the 10 isn't it so if such coincidence happens then such kind of frequency distribution is known as continuous frequency distribution okay similarly if you see here upper limit is 20 and to the next cla uh, class interval the lower limit is 20 that means it's exactly coinc coinciding similarly we have 30 and 30 here 40 and 40 50 and 50 so basically i don't have any problem with this particular frequency distribution okay because there's continuous frequency distribution now let's see what i need to do here okay first and foremost you will just draw x-axis and in the x-axis you will draw the class intervals okay so from 0 to this mark is 0 to 10 this is your first class interval next is 10 to 20 so from here to here is 10 to 20 from here to here is 20 to 30 from here to here 30 to 40 and from here to here is 40 to 50 and at last from here to here is 50 to 60 so these are your class intervals and in the y-axis you are going to plot the frequency okay so 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 till 40 it's enough because you see the maximum frequency here is 26 so till 40 is enough okay so let me remove this graph and let me show you the actual graph that you need to draw so now i expect you to pause the video and just draw this much okay all right now with the assumption that you have already uh, made your x-axis and y-axis and did some uh, necessary markings let's see how the graph looks okay now in between 0 to 10 what is the frequency frequency is 12 now if 10 is here then obviously 12 will be just above 10 isn't it yes so from 0 to 10 your frequency is 12 okay similarly from 10 to 20 so 20 is here so in this line i am drawing this particular rectangle okay 
Similarly, to, for 20 to 30 class interval, your frequency is 26, just above 25, okay? So, just do the marking. So, this is your 26. Similarly, do the marking for 18, for 30 to 40, for 40 to 50, your frequency is 10, okay? And from 50 to 60, your frequency is 6. So, this becomes your histogram for this particular table okay so you may pause the video and complete the diagram okay so let's have a look at the next question question number one sub number three again here you are given some class interval and frequency here. but the question is is this a continuous frequency distribution let's check now this upper limit is it matching with the lower limit no right so similarly if you see here these two are not matching similarly 59 and 60 they are not matching this and this is also not matching now in such case what do you need to do is you have to include something called adjustment factor which i'm sure that you have learned in your class 9 statistic okay so let's see how to use adjustment factor here so first and foremost see if this doesn't happen that means if the upper limit doesn't coincide with lower limit such kind of data okay frequency distribution table is known as inclusive form okay so basically this data is given in inclusive form and you want to convert that this inclusive into the one where your upper limit is coinciding with the lower limit so such kind of form is known as exclusive form okay now first and foremost we'll convert this data into exclusive form okay so when you convert what you need to do is see here very carefully you have to subtract okay so you have to subtract the lower limit by 0 0.5 here this 0 0.5 is known as adjustment factor so, so remember my word subtract the lower limit by 0 0.5 everywhere okay and you have to add the upper limit by 0 0.5 so in that way if i do that let's see what do we get okay so this is inclusive form i told you right now when you turn this into exclusive now subtract 0 0.5 from 30 you get 29.5 and when you increase this 39 by 0.5 you get 39.5 now in the next one remove uh, or subtract 0 0.5 from 40 you get 39.5 and increase 49 by 0 0.5 you get 49.5 and if you do the same with all others you get this particular form now is this continuous let's let's check upper limit is 39.5 lower limit is 39.5 upper limit is 41.5 here lower limit is also same so this and this they are also coinciding and similarly this is coinciding with this now this particular thing becomes your continuous frequency distribution okay now when you draw the diagram see in earlier question you know it was 0 to 10 isn't it always started with 0 isn't it but in this case we don't have zero so in such case what you need to do is you have to leave some gap okay or else you can just draw i'm sorry uh, you can just draw lines like this okay fine or else you can leave some gaps like this okay now zero to 29.5 i don't have anything given to us so that's why there's a blank now from 29.5 till 39.5 our frequency is 24 okay now 39 from 39.5 to 49.5 our frequency is 16 okay from 49.5 to 59.5 your frequency is 9 and similarly the same happens with the others too as well okay so this becomes your graph for this particular table okay so you may pause the video and note down the solution Let's have the last question for the day. So question C is, in this case, you have to uh, form the class interval. So basically here, what is given to us is, here class mark is given. 
okay now if class mark is given then how do we need to form the table that's what we need to understand okay or how do we form class interval that's what we need to learn here okay so first uh, let me give you the steps so convert the class marks into class intervals as i told you okay and uh, you have to do the suitable uh, scales in the x axis and y axis and you have to construct the rectangles okay now see now what is the difference uh, that you find here isn't this equals to 8 similarly find the, the difference between this this is also 8 find the difference between it find the difference between them find the difference between these two and find the difference between these two all of these turns out to be exactly 8 isn't it okay now what you need to do here is divide that 8 into two parts how much do you get you get 4 and 4 isn't it okay so for 16 for 16 remember if you want to form the class mark you have got two, two fours isn't it you divided eight into two parts you have four and four so from 16 you will subtract four how much do you get you get 12 isn't it and the other four remaining four you will add to 16 how much do you get you get 20 isn't it okay so one four will be subtracted and another four will be added so you get 12 to 20 similarly let's do the same so there are two fours isn't it so one four when you subtract from 24 you get 20 and when you add another four to 24 you get 28 okay do the same with others you get this particular table kindly verify by yourself so this becomes your class interval and you have got the frequency with you now the rest work is simple okay so you know from 0 to 12 we don't have uh, anything given to us so 0 to 12 is a blank here now from 12 to 20 your frequency is 8 from 20 to 28 your frequency is 12 from 28 to 36 it's 15 and similarly the rest follows okay so basically we have tried covering almost all the sums from question number one okay so from question number one there are exactly four sub questions one of the sub questions i have not done so that question you will do by yourself and send it to me as the assignment altogether okay so with this we close for the day thank you very much